so we have been able to um, add um, load search and display the menu right now we're gonna code the menu for deleting so it um, um, but first we're gonna go to product handler so we're going to um, work with the um, backend processing for the product and we're going to create a new method that method is for delete product and when we delete the product we need um, sorry it's a function and when we delete the product we need to pass in the um, ID okay so uh, we're gonna use the uh, database handler again database handler dot db dot uh, this one is a transaction not a read transaction because we are deleting so this one is a transaction and to run a transaction we have to um, provide several of the callback and one of the callback is a transaction callback itself it's going to um, it's going to provide us a callback with the transaction itself and when we have that transaction uh, you can provide the errors and the um, uh, transaction a complete callback but this time I'm just gonna um, 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 provide the transaction compact only then we have that transactions we're going to um, execute SQL and when we execute SQL you need to provide the SQL statement itself which is to delete from product where ID equal to the question mark okay and what is that question mark it is our uh, input ID over here okay the argument is the input ID over here okay where ID equal to input ID then you may um, be able to um, access to the result and the uh, other things like you might be able to access to the result um, um, by um, providing the callback which is a function statement callback giving you the transaction and the results from here actually you can check for um, which um, rows that was deleted or how many rows was affected but I'm not gonna do that we don't have to then we're gonna um, have an error then this one um, for this error we're going to um, console dot lock that error error happen uh, when deleting and you can use error dot message okay so this one is a javascript functions this one is a javascript function for us to execute when you would like to um, delete the um, um, uh, product by its ID okay using a transaction okay, using a transaction delete from product where ID equal to okay let me just check again yep um, this one is to do uh, you could um, um, make an alert for this one make an alert for this one or you could pass back the error message in order to do some um, um, displaying for for uh, this kind of error instead of just lock it this way okay because if we lock it this way it's for the um, programmers not for the uh, customers for the normal users okay and um, uh, next time we we're going to wire the um, delete methods okay um, 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 in delete product into the index okay so in order for us to wire this method into the um, um, index we're going to create a method over here which is delete product when this method is called um, we're going to when this method is called we're going to access to the uh, current product first okay because it's gonna call via the menu okay it's gonna be called via the menu and uh, this pop-up menu okay and when it pops this menu Okay, it's already set the current uh, products and it's gonna set the ID in this case so we're gonna take that ID okay so we're gonna use that one is product handler dot delete product and um, when deleting that product you can take current product dot ID okay current product dot ID um, but before deleting okay before deleting what we should do is that we should before deleting what we should do is that we should other say um, do the confirmations okay var r equal to um, um, confirm so uh, 
Are you sure? Uh, so to say, delete product, and uh, then the name. Okay, the name is the name. Okay, um, then you place the new line. Uh, quantity is the quantity. Let's just make a space of here. Plus quantity. Oh, the name and the quantity must be taken from the current product. So, current product dot name. Okay, let's just make some new line down there. Okay. So, okay. And this one is current pro current product dot quantity. This one is to to confirm with the um, user whether um, the user would like to delete or not. So. If r equal to true means the result is true. If you do confirm, then you're going to delete it using product handler that delete products with the given ID. Okay. So now let's just go to the XML page and if the button delete, this one is button delete, right? We're going to specify on click equal to uh, delete product method okay delete product method okay okay let's just see let's just see okay let's just see run it mm, it's running a little bit slow Okay, it's here. So we're gonna click on this one. Click on loads. Um, I have some errors probably. Let's just see. Yep. Okay. This is about um, syntax error. Unexpected token. Uh, line sixty three. Line sixty three. Delete products if. Uh, line sixty three. Delete. Oh, it's a function. So uh, I need to define it as a function. So. Okay, so this one we need to uh, functions. Okay, that's the one. So we're going to run again. Okay. Yes. So we got into this. Click on this. Click on this. And if you click on the item, and let's just try to click on delete. It's confirmed here. Okay, delete product. Product name is three, quantity is three. If we cancel, I shouldn't do anything. Okay, close. Now, uh, delete, it's gonna do the confirm. We say okay. Okay, and reload the product. I don't know whether it's already uh, reload or not. So, deleted or not. Well, still product three, product four over here. Let's just look at the console to see if we have an error. Now, okay, applications, web SQL. Okay, products, okay, products. And it is deleted, okay? But the point is, the point is, it doesn't uh, reload our form over here, okay? So if you search for three, uh, it's still showing there, okay? So it doesn't reload the, it doesn't reload the form, okay? It doesn't reload the form, so we need to check for it, okay? We need to check for it, okay? So we need to reload this one when it, um, is deleted so let's us uh, see let's us uh, see okay so um let's uh, see okay so this one is the one uh our project yeah okay so but before show load products okay so this one is product handle load products um, before show, page before show, okay. But when we delete the product, we need to load it as well. So, we're gonna copy the uh, line type code for loading products over here. So, after deleting, we should reload that products, okay. After deleting, we should reload the products, okay. Let's, let's see what's going on, okay. Try to run this one is reloading the products, okay. After deleting. So 
uh, I'll click on this one load uh, job only one okay job only one so click on this one we delete okay okay click on this one now it's not reloading right uh, it's not reloading right or even if it's, it's reloading it's not clearing the uh, current item so let me see if we click on load now click on add click on load now oh you still have item number four over there so delete broke four click on ok okay let me see if we have loads add uh, loads oh we still have uh, for number four let me see inspect okay applications web sql products products no it's empty but this one is still in there so it means it means it's, it is deleted but we are not able to reload this one okay so there is several things that we need to do so we need to empty this one um, whenever we um, we need to empty this one first before reloading so we're going to um, do this okay our project is here so delete products okay so if it's true you're gonna reload the products okay display products display products display products okay for displaying the products before before adding a new um, data here we should clean the old one so we're going to just take to a list of products over here and clean the data dot empty it just to empty the uh, clean the data this one is clean the old data before adding okay clean the old data before adding so that one is the first improvement to clean the data secondly I see uh, just just try to do it okay now just run this one again okay a little bit slow okay it's here finally so let's just click on load um, we don't have anything so go back to add because we deleted them so we're gonna have product one one add confirm yes product two two add confirm okay click on load now you are able to show them so click on this one and we're trying to uh, delete it's gonna show the confirmation okay see it's reloaded it is reloaded emptying and keep this one but then the the the, the um, 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 options here is not closing so I prefer to close this options so we'll do some coding there so we're gonna get back to the code and we'll write some code to uh, after confirming okay delete products we should do something like close the um, close the pop-up so we're going to look for the pop-up so what is that pop-up ID here okay it's gonna be like this okay it's gonna be like this so that one is instead of open you're gonna close just close it okay run it Okay. Now we should be able to go here. Click on this one. Click on load. We have only one product. Click on this. We're going to delete. Delete product two. Okay. Yep. It's uh, close the pop up. It's reload as well. So let's just add the product. You have product one again. One add. Confirm. Okay. Add product two. Two add. Confirm. Okay. You have loads. Okay, yep. Your data is listed here. You are now able with, um, um, to delete the data with confirmations. Okay, in the uh, next part, we're going to um, we are going to uh, work on the update functions. Okay, we'll work on the update functions. Okay.